Hello gang, Brian here. I have with me today, I have Ellie and I have little Emma. And we're putting, I shouldn't say we because they really don't do a lot, but we're taking this batch of agates. I have 10 pounds of agates here and they've been through one phase of the pre-polish. Now I want to put those through another time because I want them to be just a little bit shinier um, before we lock it in with the final polish. So now this has been through the vibratory tumbler on one pre-polish. And what I want to do is make sure that my weight is correct. So if we come down here, you can see we're at uh, nine and three quarter pounds. It's a Vibe 10 tumbler. We're not going to overthink it, but I think I'm just fine on my weight for that tumbler, the vibratory. So then what I'm going to do is these agates are wet. I just poured them into the strainer, but we want to put them into this bowl while they're wet because that's how we add the water to the vibratory tumbler different than with the rotary tumbler. So I'm going to get those transferred over and we'll come with another part too. Thank you. Hi gang. So here's the directions for my vibratory tumbler and you can see it uh, vibratory v10 remember a vibratory tumbler uses different grit and it uses different amounts of water compared to a rotary tumbler so you want to make sure you keep your your different types of tumbling apparatus directions um, in the right place so you don't do the wrong procedure for the wrong uh, machine so i i look at this three ounces comes up to six tablespoons and here's my, here's my grit here, um, pre-polished. And what I'm going to do is I have an empty container here. You're going to find in this uh, lapidary art that there's a lot of containers you, you like to have. Now this is my measuring tool. So I'm going to measure six tablespoons into this container, which makes it much easier to add to the tumbler once I have that in place. Thank you. All right, gang, here we are. We have the bowl in place. We have the little wing nut to lock it down as we start to do the procedure with the open cover first. One thing that you want to do is I add two squirts of soft soap into the batch. Now this is a, a nine to 10 pound batch. So for every four pounds, you want to put a pump of soft soap reason why is it helps to have for the rocks to adhere to the grit that you're using to polish. So I'm going to add another one and one more for good luck. I was going to have good luck ones. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my, my polish. This is all pre-polished that we measured out earlier. And then what I'm going to do is um, one thing that we want to use in this, doing the finish phase, is we want to use distilled water. So when I have my distilled water down here. Uh, you don't want any impurities added. And so if, if this turned, if you put in um, water that has a high iron content, like from a well or so forth, well then you're going to have that possibly help make a color on your stones that you're not really looking for. All right. So what I'm going to do on the next phase is I'm going to I'm going to do another video and I'm going to I'm going to have the sound off because it's extremely loud when you get this going because the tumbler is open. And then I'm going to slowly add the water and then I'm going to only add enough water till the rocks start to pick up the polished grit and have it start sticking to the stones. Then we know we're in a good place. Okay, coming back. Thanks for watching.
Okay, gang. I we're now here at. We did 12 hours of the second pre-polish phase for these agates. We're, I'm going to open this up. We'll see what it looks like inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. If you see the the thickness, it's just like they say. It should be no more than a just a thin milkshake. So that's looking good. I'm going to get them cleaned up and we'll talk again. Thanks for watching.